ICPC, DSS arraign man who gave false information on former VP Nimadi Sambo's home. The Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, ICPC, has arraigned man Abu Bakar Sani for giving false information on former Vice President. Sani was arraigned on Thursday, July 13, on two count charge. He had given a false information that led to a search rate for proceeds of corruption at the former vice president's home by the ICPC. The Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission ICPC, has arraigned man Abu Bakar Sani for giving false information that led to the raid on the home of the former vice president Namadi Sambo, Premium Times reports. Sani who was arraigned on Thursday, July 13, was charged on a two-count charge for providing false information to the ICPC and the Department of State Services against Sambo. The commission said the information given by Sani led to a search rate for proceeds of corruption at the former vice president's home by the ICPC. Although the commission did not reveal whether any incriminating documents or materials were discovered in Sambo's home, a legal officer of the ICPC Elijah Kekahal said Sani acted as a whistleblower on the ex-VP's home. Kekahal said the whistleblower told the commission that in 2013, he helped convey huge sums of money in Nigerian and foreign currency from Abuja Airport to Nguanrimi, Kaduna on the directive of a retired army officer. Sani said he believed the money was stolen and was still at the property. The charges against Sani read in part, that you made the officer of the commission of the ICPC to carry out a sting operation that turned out to be false. You thereby committed an offense, contrary to, and punishable under Section 64, 3, of the Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Act 2000. However, the whistleblower who pleaded not guilty also had not legal representation. After the defendant had taken his plea, the judge over the matter, Justice Ala Ituka ordered that Sani be remanded in prison custody. He also adjourned the matter to November 2nd. The judge also urged the accused person to endeavor to get a counsel to stand in for him at the next hearing. Nage. Com had reported that the commission had raided the Kudana home of the former vice president. It was gathered that Sambo was being investigated for his connection with the arms deal scam. The anti-graft agency had last year raided Sambo's office and seized $50,000 found in his safe. 